What's up? Here for tech news? We can do that. Whatever. We covered the Google I.O. keynote yesterday, but there's still more news coming out of the woodwork. The web giant has developed a new type of processor that they claim boasts performance three generations ahead of anything available today in terms of the progression predicted by Moore's law. It's called the Tensor Processing Unit, or TPU, and it's actually been running in Google's data centers for more than a year in secret. It powers the company's AI initiatives like AlphaGo, which is dedicated to playing the board game Go and beat world-class Go player Lee Settle earlier this year. Now, this isn't something you'll be plugging into your home system. The TPU's huge performance boost pretty much applies mostly to machine learning tasks. Well, this is great. Google developed a super smart AI brain without telling anyone. I don't see a problem with that. In other Google news, it's official. Android apps and the Play Store are coming to Chrome OS in force. This shouldn't really be a surprise to anyone. Google added support for a handful of Android apps back in 2014 using the app Runtime for Chrome, or Arc. But this time around, Arc won't be involved. Google started from scratch so that developers don't need to do virtually any work to get their apps running on Chrome OS. Initially, the Play Store and apps will only work on touch-enabled Chromebooks, but eventually will come to all of them. This news comes right as market analysts at IDC estimate that Chromebooks sold more units than MacBooks for the first time last quarter. So with the huge increased functionality of Android apps, we might have to call this the year of the Chromebooks. Got no choice. And Xbox exclusive Halo 5 is coming to PC, although not in the way you'd expect. Today, Microsoft announced Forge Halo 5 Guardians Edition for Windows 10, whose awkward name belies its unusual nature. It's a limited version of the game that will only include the Forge map builder mode from Halo 5. No single player campaign or matchmaking for multiplayer. However, there's full mouse and keyboard support and the ability to play online with your friends. This is cool, but what I really want is just a single player campaign. And, and by I, I mean keys because he wrote this. Me, I, I stick to league. Thank you. It's time for... Snappy Snappies. Not sure why Keys' face was there. That's all of this, huh? Huh? You couldn't use that? If you want a chance to get featured on Netlink, send us a clip of yourself saying sniffy snippets. 360 degree VR cameras abound these days, but now IMAX and Chinese company Yi are working on a cinema quality setup using Google's Jump design. Google's Daydream VR supports Unreal Engine, so no doubt we'll be getting some pretty sick looking mobile VR experiences complete with the Daydream motion controller. Indestructible brick maker Nokia is back in the business of making phones, specifically Android ones. They're investing investing $500 million over the next three years to make it happen. Nintendo has announced it's looking to branch out into restaurants, medical and health services, and computer software in addition to games. If that leads to a Mario themed bento box, I'm down. Uber has shown off their self-driving car on the streets of Pittsburgh. So getting a lift from a robot is not that far off, guys. And Apple's solution to iTunes deleting users' music was to send two engineers to one of the victims' houses to try to get to the bottom of the issue. Wow, not bad, Apple. Although you should probably know why your software is deleting people's files in the first place without flying people across the country. News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. He was... he was killed to death? As opposed to what? <laughs> Being stabbed to death. <laughs> Okay, killed to death is a thing now. This week is NCX's long weekend sale event because it's a long weekend up here in Canada. Don't know if it's also one in the States. Could be, we'll never know. Anyways, the Canadian deal is an LG 29UM58P ultra wide IPS monitor for $319.99. And the American deal is 16 gigabyte set of Patriot Viper Elite DDR4 RAM sticks for $55. $54.99. There's tons more deals available in the weekly sales, so click here for the Canadian, here for the US, or in the links in the description for all of this week's deals. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Click over here for more videos. Follow us on Twitter over here. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, you're all caught up on tech news. Now, you can get back to the super important things you were doing. Like, what's that? 
you're gonna watch like 18 more YouTube videos instead of working? Okay, we all do it. We all do it. It's fine. You can go watch like 18 old episodes of Netlink Daily. That sounds pretty good. That sounds like a good afternoon. Please. You Give us the yeah. views. Just go, just go click it. Over here. 18 of them. Over here. Oh God, please. <laughs>